Thank you, Bruce, and thank you all for, for being here. Uh, Bruce remembers uh, what I wrote much better than I do. I had forgotten about these things, and um, some of the descriptions he gives of what I wrote are far more interesting. I would love to read them. You know, so. <laughs> um, uh, I, I want to, of course, thank Bruce. He, he, he didn't say that he and I met when we were students, and we were uh, tortured uh, at the same time by our faculty. And you know, you, you develop very strong bonds when the, you are in the same cubicle hating the professors that are. Uh, and uh, so I am a dear friend of Bruce, and I'm grateful to be here. I'm, I'm also aware uh, that I'm here thanks to the vision and generosity of Stanley Cleon. Uh, I know that uh, his wife and daughter are here. Uh, he was uh, the early uh, visionary that understood the importance of bringing conversations about ethics into business schools and the importance of uh, injecting uh, these kinds of uh, uh, reflections uh, whenever that it was not only uh, cash flows and discounted cash flows and uh, the asset pricing model is uh, the capital asset pricing model is, is not everything that uh, other things needed to be included and so but I am here thanks to that and thanks to to Columbia University. Um, uh, I was also told that um, rather than a long, boring lecture, uh, I should try to give a short, non-boring one. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and that means uh, to have as much time as possible for a conversation and an exchange with you. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm just going to lay out some thoughts uh, and ideas, and then uh, hopefully we can then exchange views.